Management of New Plan Company Limited says their woes is as a result of shareholder neglect. They want government to come clear on contract terms as they cannot sustain losses whilst government, which is the largest shareholder, looks on without any form of intervention. George Quinney, my colleague, reports workers are also demanding a reconstitution of the board to avert a shutdown. More detail coming up. Workers come to work and sit idle as there is nothing or less to do. New Plan Company Limited is one of the coach manufacturing companies in Ghana established on December 12, 1972. The company is currently struggling due to lack of contracts and recurrent losses. According to Fadu Group, who are minority shareholders with 45% shares with government, holding 55% shares as majority, government is not helping at all to see the company thrive. For instance, the last contract that was awarded New Plan was in 2002, which ended in 2010, where the company produced some 450 DAF VDL buses for the Metro Mass Transit Limited. This very coach you see right here was produced here in Ghana. Talk about the ties, talk about the screws they were all produced here in the country. And for, you know, workers here, they have the capacity to meet the local demand. So government should continuously engage them so they produce on a large scale to keep them viable. Management admits that investment is not an issue, but what matters most is why government is not showing any form of assistance to make the business viable. Elia Fadu Group paid some $173,333 to acquire 20% shares, but that has not materialized, though the money was paid in 2016. Workers explain how they can meet local demand as they used to produce four buses monthly. They want the board reconstituted to enhance deliberations. The board is dormant and that affects deliberations to make the business viable. Government's intervention will avert the imminent closure. We cannot afford to fend for ourselves if the company collapses. Our woes will worsen if the company collapses. Government must intervene. Meanwhile, ICU has written to New Plan to consider the imminent closure as due process must be followed. Workers here at the New Plan Company Limited are willing to give out their optimum best, but it behoves on government to do its part. They want the board to be reconstituted, and so with that, there will be healthy deliberations and also measures to grow the business will be top on the agenda. Until that is done, among others, the company will still struggle, workers will come and they'll still be idled, and that possible closure might take effect. And so from Machimota here in Accra, Josh Quinnin reporting for TV3.